Hey, it's Ethan here, eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rocky Mounts Monorail Hitch Bike Rack and how it fits on our 2022 Lincoln Navigator. It is a two bike platform style bike rack capable of supporting two bikes up to 60 pounds each, making contact with our bike and holding it primarily by this wheel hook here, and one additional strap in the back. So it doesn't make any frame contact with our bike at all, which is nice because if we have a carbon frame bike, can take it on without having any worries about damages. If we have an alternative frame style bike or just like a really nice paint job for whatever reason, it doesn't make any frame contact, but still has a secure hold on the bike rack. One of the really nice features that this rack offers is the ability for it to tilt away with the bike loaded. So if you pull this blue handle underneath, it's really easy and you can tilt the bike rack pretty aggressively. So I will say that if you wanted to get down here with another bike on there, it could be a little bit difficult. In our case, we just have the back one on, and we found that that gives us plenty of room for us to open the hatch. Once it's opened up, we have a good amount of room back here as well if we want to slide back, change our shoes, do whatever we need to do before the ride, grab helmets, waters, shoes, anything out of the back that we might need as well. To get the rack back up, we recommend holding on to the frame itself, not the bike. You'll hear it click into place, that's how you know it's back up, and we can work on getting our bike removed. We'll start with this back strap. Rocky Mounts does a good job of color coding everything, so you'll know that this blue release is where you start. Once we get that off, we can pull the strap through, come around, hold on to the frame of the bike, press this other blue button here, get the wheel hook up, push it down, and we can get our bike off, just like that. As I replace this back strap, just to keep it from bouncing around while we're driving, I wanted to point out that these back cradles do pivot to help support wheelbases of up to 48 inches. Moving up to the front cradle here, as I put this wheel hook back down, point out that these do support a 5 inch tire width right out of the gate, which is really nice, and they also fold down to secure themselves and lower the profile. If you want to know what it's like to live with the rack in this position, I'll give a measurement so you can understand how much length we're adding to the back. So from the bumper to the furthest point back being the end of this wheel hook here, it's about 33 and a half inches. So it does stick out a little bit. As far as the rise, there is a nice rise in the rack itself and it has kind of a stadium design. So the lowest point in the back is probably that handle we talked about earlier, coming in about 26 inches. If you want to know how, or how high you'll have to lift those heavier bikes, it's about 29 inches to get to that top tray. Another nice thing about this rack is that if we don't want to leave it in this position, using that same blue handle we used before, we can fold it up towards the car to cut down on some of that space. You hear it click in place again, we'll get that new measurement to figure out what distance we've added now. So from the bumper to the furthest point back now, it's about 15 inches, so we definitely save a good amount of space there. It doesn't come very close to our vehicle at all, and Rocky Mount's designs are really good at keeping that shake out of there. As far as living with it in this position on the back of your vehicle, you'll note from the sides, you can see the license plate pretty clearly. There are definitely windows to see in there. The backup camera is basically straight in line with the center of our trays, but they're pretty good at seeing around there as well, but you'll know it's back there for sure. Our taillights are fully visible, and it doesn't come anywhere near our rear window. The rack uses a two inch shank that fits into our two inch hitch receiver. It's held in place by this anti-rattle bolt with the lock on the end to secure the rack into the hitch receiver. If you're looking for a really, really solid value option to get those 60 pound bikes where you need them to go, this rack will do that and more. It tilts away, it folds, has a cable lock that is included. It's not integrated onto the rack, but it is included. So you get a couple layers of added security as well. I will say that you can get all that for less than a premium price, but if you do want a more premium option that comes with a bike repair stand, gets you a couple more inches, just two more inches on the wheelbase, you can check out something like the Kuat NV that has those features I just mentioned. But again, if you do want that really solid value option that's not gonna make any frame contact at all, allows you to carry a wide range of bikes, Rocky Mounts Monorail is a great choice and a really good fit on a 2022 Lincoln Navigator.